Good morning everybody. I'm a teacher here at Mother Teresa Catholic College and this is a gentle reminder about what Anzac Day stands for. We'd like to begin by acknowledging the Wujuk Nonga elders and their people, the traditional owners of this land on which we are meeting and on which our college is built. I acknowledge their living culture, the deep spiritual connection to the land and the unique and continuing contribution they make to life in this region. Anzac Day is a national day of remembrance in Australia and New Zealand that broadly commemorates all Australians and New Zealanders who served and died in all wars. Conflicts and peacekeeping operations and the contribution and suffering of all those who served. On this day, the 25th of April, we remember the history of Anzac Day, starting with the dawn service, the gunfire breakfast, Anzac Day march, follow on and two up, and the wearing of medals. The wearing of medals on this left side, if you have medals, this is your own medals, and these are federal medals. On the right side, these are your own medals or grandfather's medals or someone else's medals, but state medals are worn on the right side. One of the most poignant pieces of music you hear on Anzac Day is The Last Post. I'd like to introduce to you Genevieve Denecht, who is a learning trumpet at the college. Genevieve, what does The Last Post mean? In military tradition, The Last Post is the bugle call that signifies the end of the day's activities. It is also sounded at military funer funerals to indicate that the soldiers has gone to his final rest and commemorates service as Anzac Day and Remembrance Day. The legend and myth of Anzacs come to stand for the positive qualities which Australians have seen their forces show in war. These qualities in general are generally accepted to include endurance, courage, ingenuity, good humour and mateship. So what does Anzac Day mean to me? Well let's see what a young chap who was 14 years old wrote. This poem was called Powerful and it was written by a 14 year old boy called Joshua Dyer who lives on the Eastern States. His poem went like this. A thousand men are walking, one thousand men are walking side by side, singing songs from home, their spirit as their guide. They walk towards the light, my lord, they walk towards the sun, they smoke and laugh and smile together, no foes to outrun. These men live on forever in the hearts of those they saved, a nation truly grateful for the path of peace they paved. They marched as friends and comrades, but they do not march for war. Step closer to salvation, a tranquil steady core. The meadows lit with golden beams, a beacon for the brave. The emerald grass untrampled, a reward for what they gave. They dream of those they left behind and know they dream of them. For in those poppy fields, there walks a thousand men. There are many people who make a difference to our lives. Some of these people we never meet and some we never know the battles they have fought on our behalf, lest we forget.